the steady, comfortable hum of the conveyor belts and the digging machinery. Two of the stars that I'd like you to meet, Peggy Cummins and Herbert Long, aren't on call today, but there are plenty of others. First, let's have a word with director Cy Enfield. Plowing through the mud to him, I asked what the problems were for an American making such a peculiarly British picture. Well, no, not particularly difficult. After all, there's a long history of people coming from all parts of the world to Hollywood and direct, directing typically American pictures. <laughs> That's certainly yeah. true. Have you made any study of sort of the, the background of the subject? Well, yes. I had the good fortune of selecting a story written by a man who had the practical background of being a truck driver. A long right. cruise, isn't it? That's right. I've been talking to quite a few lorry drivers about this, uh, real life ones, about this picture, and they say that plot apart, the background seems to them very authentic. How did you manage that? Well, simply by doing it. I drove tankers mostly, uh -huh. uh, tar tankers, uh, tipper trucks also, but I haven't had any experience of the short haul that these boys are doing here. Did you do it out of necessity or, or to, to gain material? Out of necessity uh, from old brokenness, I should say. Did you become a writer out of doing all these jobs or did you do those jobs in order to make money to be a writer? The last is true, yes. I've, I've always written, and uh, but I had to live in the meantime until I could get somewhere. And I did these jobs and various other jobs. Are you, um, you, you think you're set now, or do you, do you anticipate the possibility of doing that sort of work again? Well, if I did, I, I don't think I'd object to it very much, so long as I didn't do it for too long. The work on location starts at sunup, and by midday, everyone's ready for food. You don't find chairs in the same pit, but that doesn't seem to have bothered Alfie Bass. Hello, Mark. Hello, Alfie. How are you? All right. Room for one more? Yeah. Take a seat. Not bit of mess? No. Tell me, for this lorry driver you're playing in this uh, picture, yeah? how do you get them so good, you know, this type of chap? The background, uh, Alfie, how, how did you get that? I mean, what was your beginning? Well, it, I mean, it, it sort of naturally belongs to me. I mean, it, my background covers very big um, area, you know. Um, I've probably got a, a relative in every kind of um, industry you can think of. You know, I must have a brother somewhere, a very, very big family of 13. What, what did you start in yourself? Um, I started, well, that's why I did a, a bit of tailoring. Then I did a bit of, um, oh, printing. Then I did a bit of uh, carpentry, woodwork, engineering. Uh, then some very odd sort of jobs, you know, tea boy and uh, funny kinds of shops and things. Big factories, small factories. So you knocked about, you know, done. Now you're doing a bit of acting and you're going to stick with that. Oh, yes, well, I was forced into it, you know. I didn't... Uh, hey, help it! Try... Uh, yeah, help it! Work! Work begins again, and the sand pit machinery goes into action. I was trying to find the star of Hell Drivers, Stanley Baker. It was no easy matter to single him out from the real-life workers and drivers. Uh, I think that's him. Stanley? Oh. Hello, Mike. How are you? Fine. I wanted to do with you. You can't tell the difference between actors and workers here. Yeah? <laughs> sure, I know, yeah. Not that actors don't work sometimes, I suppose. I find it very exciting work. Uh, I like doing it, driving all the lorries and uh, etc. You know, it's great fun. Have you made any particular approach to this part? Uh, well, I have spent quite a, time, a lot of time here in the ballast pit and uh, in certain pull-ins along the road at, in transport cafes, you know, talking to the drivers, getting to know them, getting to see how they behave, also in their work and also in their leisure time, you know. Uh, the realism that everyone is trying for in this picture, can you give me an instance of how it works in practice? Well, yes, Mike. We, uh, for instance, do all our own driving, etc., the lorries, and uh, we work on the site. But uh, a particular instance I'd, I'd like to tell you about, um, there's a fight in the picture, a big fight between the villain and myself, uh, played by Patrick McGowan. And he, was one time, was a professional boxer, and I've done a little myself, you know, fooling around a bit. Uh, and Cy Enfield, the director, said, it'd be a rather good idea if we did the fight absolutely realistically on, on the stage. Which, in fact, we did, and uh, it was quite realistic. We got, uh, I got a couple of punches and uh, blooded nose, etc. cetera, you know, and Pat got a, also a couple of punches, and it looks very good on the screen. It's a new approach to shooting this kind of fight, you know, and in actual fact, it was a fight. And the finished film of Hell Drivers proves that this approach was right. The thing that will always remain in my mind, though, is the fantastic, brilliant, maniacal roadmanship of the Hell Drivers.
This program was made in cooperation with the Rank organization. Cameraman Harry Hart, sound recordist Stan Clark, directed by Bill Morton, written and produced by Michael Ingrams.